What's going on, Excel fanatics? Vertex is here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use VLOOKUP based on two pieces of criteria. So if you used a VLOOKUP before, you'll notice that if you're trying to reference another list, it'll return the first iteration of it that it'll find. So why I'm saying that is if you go down this list of names and I see Tom comes up twice, and then I reference this salary table over here, it's going to give me the return the first iteration of Tom that it finds for both, right? So I'll just show you that real quick. Right, so notice the two of the 60s, but we know based on the list here that there's another Tom in marketing that gets it for 40, right? So this isn't what we want. So some instances that you may have seen as far as a maybe a quick and dirty way to do this is you create a new column that combines these two, right? So one way to do that is if you just wanted to do a hard name, you could concatenate these two, right? So you can select that. And then maybe if you wanted to add, well, you can probably just keep these two. That's probably fine. And we'll make a new one, salary new. And then we would have to do the same here, right? So it's equal to that. Right, because uh, the reason I'm concatenating is because is I'm making a new unique value, right? And because the lookups only look from left to right, we're just going to make that new column in there. So now when we do a V lookup, now you see that that's updated appropriately. Now, like I said, that's kind of doing it the quick and dirty way. This is a short list. So in the instances where you're working with a larger data set, you probably want something more templatized, right? Something you're, especially if it's something you're updating on a regular basis. So I'm going to get rid of these two. And I'm going to use an index match for this next part. And it's actually more so why I'm using tables, because uh, I found that this is where it works the best. And because if you have to keep updating your table very easily, the formula will adjust accordingly. You don't have to make any adjustments to the formula, and it'll be good to go. So this one's a little bit more complex. Um, if you haven't seen what an index match is, I highly suggest checking one of my other videos. I will put a link to that in, uh, in the description. But essentially what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna do the index match where the index, we want this first part to be what our output is gonna be. So here we're gonna be referencing salary. And now with the match part, this is where it gets a little bit dense. So match, the lookup value, we're going to put in number one. And then the lookup array, this is where it gets interesting, right? We're going to highlight the entire column here, right, for the, uh, for, for within this table. We're going to open the parentheses. And we're going to have this equal here, right, the department on the first uh, table here. I probably should have used different colors here. And now I switched over to sheet one. I'm going to close that. Now I'm going to multiply by a new set of parentheses here. So I'm going to go back to the first iteration, highlight this whole column equals to here. Now I'm going to close the parentheses here. I need to finish the match function. So I need to do a comma and then I'm going to put zero. And then I'm just going to close the parentheses for the match as well as for the index function. Now, before I press enter, uh, I want to, I'm, I had to do things a little bit differently here. I'm not sure if this is because I have an older version of Excel versus the new one. I should be able, if it's a newer one, you might be able to pick up on this right away. But uh, I believe since this is an older version of Excel, what I have to do instead of pressing enter, I actually have to press control shift enter. And notice I got all the same answers that we did when we were going through the VLOOKUP, right? Oops, 
So notice when I did control shift enter, these new uh, brackets for the array popped up, which wouldn't pop up if I didn't put those uh, brackets in. So that's uh, what all I had for you guys today. I hope this was helpful to you. Definitely let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Um, but the idea here again was you have two tables, right? I, uh, maybe I'll make sheet one. I'll just change this to a different color real quick. But this is sheet one is where we updated this, right? And we were referencing it off of sheet two. And now if you ever have to add to something like this, you can easily update it because it's in a table format.